Welcome to the Thoughtsmanship Podcast. I'm your host today, and my name's Laura Evans. Each week on this show, we will feature interviews and stories celebrating Dr. Shackley's philosophy of living in harmony with nature and the power of our thoughts. I am so thrilled to welcome my very first guest on this show. I personally selected Carolyn Sparger. I fell in love with Carolyn before I even met her. I read her story in the book called The Shackley Story. And I read the story about this woman, this mom, who as a single mom in the 1960s with four children and two jobs, changed her life, and became one of the world's first mom entrepreneurs. I mean, she was operating as a successful entrepreneur and as a mom before anybody thought to put the two words together. She has seen over 600000 a year in income, and she has an organization producing over a million dollars a month in revenue. In fact, Carolyn is among one of the top 1% money earners in our industry. It is such an honor and pleasure for me to have her and welcome her to the call. I'm going to tell you guys just a little bit about, in my introduction of Carolyn, I just want to share with you what she said when I first asked her if she would join this legacy series with us of the Shackley legacy and uh, share some of her history and her personal time that she spent with Dr. Shackley. And here's a little bit of what she said. She said, Laura, I would be glad to do so using the best of my mind works memory, my physics plus physical ability, and the thankfulness of all of my many Shackley blessings. And for those of you that don't know, uh, Carolyn first joined Shackley in 1965. She likes to say she joined it when sponsoring was free, and that's why she knew she had the money for it. She became the 12th master coordinator in all of Shackley's history. She became that in 1975, back when the requirement to become a master coordinator in Shackley was 15 first levels, each who had to do a minimum of $3,000 in volume a month. Now, remember, that's 1975, where $3,000 a month was really significant. She earned lifetime master status, which required holding the master title consistently, consistently, month after month after month for 10 years. And by the way, she's been consistently holding that title and more for more than 43 years. I'm so thankful to welcome you to the call. So thank you, Carolyn, for joining us on the show. Wow, Laura, (laughs) listening to all of that, it sounds like I did an awful lot of work. Um, But if that were true, I'm just wondering, it makes me think, where did I find all that time over the years? I was able to spend with my family, traveled all over the world, more than 50 trips, able to work with charities that I cared about. Um, gosh, we built a beach home, a uh, home on the golf course at the country club, played golf, fish on our own 60-foot boat, but most important, have time for our church to enjoy all our special friendships that really came along the way. Where did all that time come from? Oh, I forgot. I was living the Shackley dream. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly were. You certainly have been, and you are living the Shackley dream. And, and uh, what an amazing lifestyle that has been. Thank you for joining us, Carolyn. Oh, my pleasure. I was so excited um, uh, and really happy to share Dr. Shackley's legacy and the opportunity to reminisce and share some of my memories. You know, when I got started, I think I wrote a book. Um, And I know most people have heard this greeting, and first thing came to mind, welcome to the Shackley family. You know, we hear that in the beginning, and we welcome our people in so many times, welcome to the Shackley family. And this greeting, to me, has to be really important and not taken lightly. You know that a family means more than one person. The people join together. The family joins together and works as a team, passing on their family traditions. So 
Welcome to the World of Shackley. That's exactly what we do. Shackley was founded by Dr. Shackley, Dr. Forrest Shackley, who introduced to the world a natural way to live in harmony with nature. And yes, Laura, I'm proud to say that I joined the Shackley family more than 50 years ago. Wow, that is so impressive, Carolyn. And I don't know of anyone that knew the doctor and his family any closer than you. And that's why I wanted to start preserving Dr. Shackley's legacy with you and with your stories so that our newest family members joining us in the pursuit of their dream could better understand what we stand for and the legacy that this company was founded on. So true, Laura, so true. By the way, Laura, I would just like to say how much you were appreciated when you worked on the corporate side. What a great job you did. But I also want you to know how very much more you are appreciated working even and building on your own business, but you're side by side, right beside us, and we appreciate that. Uh, Thank you so much, Carolyn. You know, I always knew that this is where I belonged, especially, you know, finding Shackley, the company with the right philosophy and the right product. I would spend the rest of my life being able to share that. And, you know, Carolyn, hearing you speak so many times, sharing your story, being a single parent, raising four small kids alone while working two jobs, and how Dr. Shackley and his wife, Dorothy, you know, they really kind of took you under their wing. Can you tell us a little bit about what that was like? Uh, Yes, they certainly did. And, and you know, Laura, that was a big help in changing my life. I, with my group, started many conventions in our area because, you know, at that time, all I ever remember Shackley had, um, I mean, the boys and I were pretty busy with other things. Uh, The only thing I remember was the supervisor's convention. Uh, So I got busy and started conventions that I uh, called many conventions in the Los Angeles Sports Arena. Thousands came, Disneyland and Long Beach Convention Centers. Uh, thousands came out and and I really never asked Dr. and my Dorothy as he finally always called her to come join us and speak to the people that they didn't come and were just excited to be there Uh, and that brings a special memory to my mind the evening before the meeting I always had a dinner for all the workers. And by the way, that was a really good way to get my people involved uh, in in the programs and in in assisting with uh, everything at the conference or the conventions or the meetings. If you get them involved, then they'll always be there, and certainly they benefit from them too. So uh, being a little late to the meeting that night, the dinner that I was having for the worker bees, the doctor and Dorothy always loved attending and visiting with the people. It just so happened that Don and I decided to get married the week before it. By the way, that was 46 years ago. And we arrived at the dinner a little late. I was pulling Don by the hand and I saw Dr. and Dorothy in, in the middle of the room talking with people all around. Doctor had his back turned, so I quickly introduced my new husband, Don, to Dorothy, who hugged and loved and kissed and welcomed him to the family. And I can just still see it today. She pulled on Doctor's sleeve to turn him around, saying, Daddy, Daddy, Carolyn got married. He turned around slowly with his hand out, saying, Where is the poor soul? And that was Dr. Shackley and Don's first introduction. (laughs) What a great sense of humor. I think we we forget or we never knew what an amazing sense of humor Dr. Shackley had. And by the way, happy anniversary to you and to Don. Uh, And I know, Carolyn, you know, back then there were only a few products when you started your business. And so many of us would love to have had the opportunity to ask Dr. Shackley, among these products, among the products, what were his favorite? Did you ever get a sense that he had a favorite? Well, I know that he felt very strong about Vitaly, our multivitamin, and instant protein. He would always say, 
Everyone on earth needs this. And don't let me hear that you have sold one without the other. They were formulated to work together for the best results. A label on the can he talked about, too. <laughs> Again, his sense of humor. Uh, the label on the can of protein uh, read, delightful and delicious. And doctor would often say with a grin on his face, only thing I ever fibbed about took me 20 years to develop the formula and it will take another 20 to make it taste good. And Lord, look what we have today. Chocolate, strawberry, peach, delicious flavors. He was certainly a man with wisdom. <laughs> yes, yes. And yes, we've come a long way uh, thanks to, to his you know, innovation. And um, wow, how powerful is it to, to hear how much value Dr. Shackley saw in the importance of a basic multivitamin along with protein and that the two were not to be separated and should be taken together. Boy, that's really important. When you think of everything that he studied and he knew about how our body functions and how nature feeds it and supports it, that's a really big aha moment. So thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that. Now, Carolyn, your Shackley story, like we said, started over 50 years ago. Tell us a little bit of your memory of how the business side got started. How did Dr. Shackley get nature's products started and out to the people? Well, Laura, in the beginning, yes, doctor was a scientist, a a chemist, a naturopath, a chiropractor, a minister, all of those things, and probably many more. But First of all, he loved his family. I felt that very strongly. He understood nature. I I mean, that was his life. And he always had a burning desire to help mankind, and that's where we fit in and how fortunate we are. I want to repeat that again. He always had a burning desire to help mankind. And at the age of 50, he decided he must find a way to share his discoveries with the world. Yeah, isn't that something? You know, when most people are thinking about how to retire and at the end of their career, Dr. Shackley was making plans that would change the world. And so true. And as the story goes on, I remember hearing he went to the bank to borrow money. Well, they were not all excited or very, very willing So then he went to his two sons. He had two sons, Lee Shackley, who had a background in marketing, and Forrest Jr., whose background happened to be accounting. And he asked them if they would be willing to help him find a way to get his products to the people. So were they really excited about that idea? (laughs) We'd like to think so, but... Not exactly. Remember, they had their own occupations and and life. But doctor told them he was opening a research lab manufacturing facility, and it would have three offices. And when he opened the doors, both of the boys were there. So so how did they go from that to decide to how they were going to market the product, Carolyn? Well, doctor told me that after the boys had had time to discuss a plan of marketing, they went to doctor and suggested they formulate and build an inventory they could sell to grocery and drugstores. The doctor did not like this idea at all because Shackley products, as he knew, were very different. They needed personal explanations and a personal touch. And it was at that time that Lee Shackley said, well, Dad, we do not have money to hire a sales force, so we need to recruit people and their neighbors who will tell others, and they will tell others, giving them all an opportunity to share and build their own Shackley business. Well, uh, yes, uh, that was an idea that Dr. liked. He said I like that because there's no excuse for not having money to buy supplements for your family. If money was not available, they could simply share with others and have extra income. And thus, my friends, 
um, I believe network marketing was born. By the way, Dr. and Forrest and Lee did one-on-ones. They started asking people to get 10 people together for them. Uh, sometimes there were no shows. I remember Forrest uh, complaining he drove an hour and they'd given him the wrong address and and uh, Lee saying, you know, we were expecting 10 and only two came. Does that sound familiar to any of us? That's exactly how they started, what they passed on to us. And, you know, today, isn't it interesting that from that one-on-one, person-to-person, Shackley is now gov- going and covering all over the world. I, I think of that. Wow, Yeah. Wow, that is that is really something special. That is so special that they walked the talk. And how important it was to Dr. Shackley that the products be available and accessible to everyone and that we have to tell the story of the product, that sitting on a store shelf isn't going to do it. I mean, that's just a fundamental of how this business model was created. And um, that's, that's powerful, so powerful. Thank you, Carolyn. So let me ask you, what among all the lessons that Dr. Shackley taught you, what is one of the most memorable? What is one of the ones that you never forgot? I was always so excited to be invited to home office to help with projects and to represent the field. But remember, home office at that time was very small and, and not too many people there. Sometimes I could be the whole committee, and I loved being up there. And as a result, I got to spend meaningful time with doctor. He often asked me to go to lunch. He would drive. And we always had to go to his favorite restaurant every time. Well, one time the entrance was blocked, and there had been a little fender bender accident, and I said, well, doctor, guess we have to go somewhere else to eat. He drove over the curb, parked right in front of the entrance, turned to me and said, in life, a lot can be accomplished, Carolyn by never giving up. (laughs) Well, I never did. And again, how right he was. (laughs) Yes. It's so much fun to hear that never giving up wasn't just something that Dr. Shackley wrote about and taught, but it was something that he actually lived in his day-to-day life, even when it came to his determination of where he wanted to eat lunch. Um, So that's a great story. Now, speaking of stories, I heard that there's a story like that about an orange tree. Oh, the orange tree story. Yes, so true. You know, Dorothy uh, was always by doctor's side. They were both exceptional people. During the year, Dorothy would collect little presents to gift wrap special and deliver to nursing homes at Christmas time. And if she could find out when birthdays were, she would do that all year through. And she also loved to communicate by handwriting letters. I still have some of the letters she wrote to me. Uh, Kevin and I were going through a box in the office uh, the other day, and I found some of them, and and, uh, Kevin got really excited. said, Mom, this is really Dorothy's handwriting. I said, yes, it sure was. She was so good about that. Uh, One of the letters that she wrote, she was sharing about Dr. and the large, tall orange tree in their backyard. It seems all of the oranges had been picked or dropped from the tree. But one morning, Dr. noticed that two oranges remained at the very top. Seeing the look of thoughtsmanship that he often got, Dorothy said, Now, Forrest, do not think for a second you're going to climb up and get those oranges from the top of this tree. And with that, she went inside to do dishes. Well, Minutes had passed, and she went outside to check on doctor. There he was, coming down off the ladder, and having climbed to the top of the tree, he had the two oranges in his hands. Dorothy started screaming. Now, I told you, I told you, he said, now, my Dorothy, it was no problem. I thought about how good those oranges would be. I had a plan. 
And yes, I was determined and willing to do whatever it would take. Now, as my reward, you can make us a nice fresh orange juice protein shake. And she did. (laughs) Well, he certainly (laughs) was unstoppable. How about that? How about that? And maybe now we know what it is. Yes. Yes. Yes, he did. He lived it. And maybe now we know what his favorite shake was, too. So (laughs) let me ask you this, Carolyn. Did Dr. Shackley, do you think that he ever realized or thought about the impact or the power that his philosophy and that nature's products would have all over the world? You know, Laura, yes, I have thought about that. And I know that money was never his goal. To become, to become famous, that was never of interest to him. In fact, I believe he was a part of making other people famous, people like Kazmir Funk in Germany who corresponded with Doctor, and Doctor had many telephone calls with him, and Kazmir Funk was given credit for having discovered vitamins. Doctor was friends with a famous Firestone family and was involved with some of their successors. And you know, Thomas Edison, he spent hours in Dr. Shackley's garage just tinkering around with Dr. Shackley. But Dr. believed in living in harmony with nature and had the ability and wisdom to capture the benefits of nature for human use, for you and I and make that scientific miracle available to the world. How many times he said the world needs and someday will know the value and have the benefits of Shackley products. Well, Laura, look today. We're now in Canada, Mexico, Malaysia, Japan, China, Indonesia, and spreading to other countries. Thank you for your thoughtsmanship, Dr. Shackley, and giving us all your dream to share. I still remember the three Ds you told me to remember. Be dedicated, determined, and then just do it. I still remember his words today. It sure sounds like something that you've lived by, Carolyn. And Carolyn, thank you so much for being here. You've made us all, and I mean all, from faith Shackley users to the newest dreamers more aware of Dr. Shackley's philosophy and his whole philosophy of doing unto others as you would do unto yourself as well. That's really, really good. My pleasure, Laura. And in closing, I believe Dr. Shackley would want me to say, just live in harmony with nature and just see the people. And you know, Roger Burnett, now owner, CEO, and good friend to all, just sent these words out to the field, and they had great meaning to me. Roger said, believe in independence and freedom, including your health freedom, with the right to pursue your dreams and have the ability to increase the number of years you are active and healthy, both physically and mentally. And Laura, I believe my 82 years can certainly attest to that. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Carolyn. Thank you for joining us. And I want to thank everybody for listening. We will feature a new interviewer story each week. And I hope that you choose to come back. And I would love it if you would share this podcast with others. If you're not familiar with podcasts and sharing, typically there's three little dots um, in the area of where you're watching or listening to a podcast on your phone. And if you hit those three dots, it gives you more options, such as sharing to social media or being able to share via a text message to someone. And it's just a great way to help us get the word out about this remarkable, remarkable man, Dr. Shackley and his family that we all get to be a part of and his philosophy. And we're going to change the world together. So thank you all for joining us on the call today and extra special thanks to our guest, Carolyn Sparger. Thank you, Carolyn. Love you. Love you too. Bye.